The James Webb Space Telescope is the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built. It is approximately the size of a tennis court when fully deployed. The telescope's capabilities will allow astronomers to study the atmospheres of exoplanets in detail, potentially identifying signs of habitability and even potential biosignatures. Today, we're going to explore some really cool and strange pictures that the James Webb Space Telescope has taken from space. Let's jump right in. Number one, water near center of planet forming disk in cosmic first. According to a recent study, rocky extraterrestrial worlds may have substantial amounts of water from the moment they develop, which is a first for astronomers. Almost everywhere on Earth where there is water, there is life. As a result, the hunt for the presence of water has been the main focus of the search for potentially habitable exoplanets. Previous studies revealed that water-bearing asteroids impacting our infant planet's surface after it originated provided the newborn Earth with a significant portion of its water. Now, scientists may have found evidence suggesting that water may have been one of the first elements present when rocky planets were born. The recent study concentrated on the young star PDS-70, which is around 370 light-years away from Earth. PDS-70 is only around 5.4 million years old, but our Sun is about 4.6 billion years old and has about three quarters the mass of PDS-70. Number two, first starlight from ancient quasars. In the young universe, stars can no longer hide from the light coming from supermassive black holes they are feeding. Astronomers have observed illumination from two early galaxies that contain feeding supermassive black holes or quasars for the first time thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. The discoveries may eventually enable researchers to comprehend how supermassive black holes rapidly attain masses equal to millions or billions of suns and how they co-evolve with the host galaxies. The scientists captured images of two of these supposedly active galaxies, which are shown as they were when the universe, which is 13.8 billion years old, was only a billion years old. They were able to determine the masses of the galaxies and the supermassive black holes driving the quasars, J2236 plus 0032 and J2255 plus 0251, respectively. Since it took these two galaxies 12.9 and 12.8 billion years, respectively, for their light to reach us, they appear to astronomers to have existed 870 and 880 million years after the Big Bang. Number three, treasure trove. Astronomers are using the James Webb Space Telescope to investigate star birth in the deeper reaches of space. And it has recently taken a magnificent picture of a faraway barred spiral galaxy. As part of its mission to compile what the European Space Agency refers to as a treasure trove of star formation data in relatively close by galaxies, JWST studied the galaxy NGC 5068, which is situated 17 million light years away in the constellation Virgo. This repository could aid in the better understanding of star formation processes and consequently the evolution of barred spiral galaxies like the Milky Way. The barred spiral galaxy NGC 5068 is depicted with tendrils of gas and stars encircling it. The upper left-hand corner of the image shows the galaxy's bright and thick central bar, which distinguishes it from spiral galaxies that aren't barred. Number 4. Carina Nebula This image, which is undoubtedly the most well-known of the JWST's early releases, 7,600 light-years away from Earth, the Carina Nebula has a diameter of more than 300 light-years. The locations of the star's birthplaces and death knells are depicted in this stunningly colored graphic. Over thousands of years, the dusty storms of these cosmic cliffs create entire solar systems. The telescope's infrared capabilities, like those of other telescopes under Webb's watchful eye, exposed hundreds of stars that were previously concealed by the clouds, including several protostars that were jet-emitting. Number 5. Uranus Like Never Before There is not enough affection for Uranus, the coolest in all seriousness. The asymmetrical ice giant has the most irregular orbit of any planet in the solar system, and if it were closer for clearer views, its ring system might even be comparable to Saturn's. With 27 moons gleaming in various blue and orange tones as they orbit the frozen planet, Uranus is shown in this JWST image hanging sharply in the center of its brilliant rings. 
Ting. Number 6. JWSD. Deep Field. The first image produced by the JWST that could be used to show off the telescope's actual capabilities was its first real image. This picture should shock your mind, so don't think it's just a scattering of chance twinkles. They're not stars, those blinking dots. It's galaxies. Each small dot of light across the darkness of space in the photograph is a complete galaxy made up of tens of thousands of stars that was only partially visible via a pinhole. JWST was specifically designed to explore the curvature that bends the light in some of the galaxies displayed. Gravitational lensing is a bending phenomenon that happens when the mass of massive objects bends the light of things behind them. This effect can help JWS peer closer into the very beginning of the universe itself. Number 7. Gazes at Jupiter and Europa Another of Webb's early photographs is this one. Along with Europa, one of the gas giant's many moons, infrared bands of storms overlaying Jupiter's atmosphere can also be seen, as well as the planet's iconic Great Red Spot glowing in white. It's not the most colorful image of Jupiter that we've seen, but it's still a noteworthy image. The picture was taken while the telescope's systems were being calibrated during its commissioning phase. Europa, the little moon to Jupiter's left in the photograph, is getting its own spacecraft. NASA's Europa Clipper spacecraft is scheduled to launch next year on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. The moon is thought to have extensive subsurface waters that could potentially support the creation of life. Number 8. Most Ancient Galaxies Ever Observed the James Webb Space Telescope has cast light on some of the most ancient galaxies ever discovered. According to two new studies, astronomers are now convinced that light from these galaxies has been flowing to Earth for more than 13.4 billion years. The findings suggest that these galaxies existed in the universe when it was only 350 million years old, demonstrating the rapid formation of the first generations of galaxies. The result validates JWST's capacity to carry out one of its most critical tasks. Researching the early cosmos using light that has traveled for so long that the universe's expansion has extended its wavelength. This stretching of light is referred to as redshift. The longer light travels, the further toward the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum, the universe's expansion shifts its light. This means that redshift may be used to calculate distance and that early galaxies should contain light with extreme redshifts with light stretched all the way into the infrared spectrum, a specialty of the JWS. Number 9. Wreckage of Titanic Cosmic Explosion The wreckage of a violent supernova explosion is depicted in spectacular detail in a new photograph from the James Webb Space Telescope. From our perspective on Earth, the supernova remnant known as Cassiopeia A, CA's A, formed around 340 years ago. This makes the 10 light year wide CA's A cloud one of the most recent supernova remnant clouds discovered. Scientists can use photos like this to conduct cosmic forensics to learn more about what occurs when stars die. Material ejected by supernovas like this one disperses throughout galaxies and serves as the foundation for the next generation of stars and planets. Such a process helped construct the Sun and planets of our own solar system around 4.6 billion years ago, paving the path for living beings by delivering elements such as calcium in our bones and iron in our blood.